we've hired a car, we've um, abandoned ship, I won't go into detail, and we're going to go and see the sights. It's quite spread out, isn't it, all the little towns and... It is. So where's the volcano? Down in the hole, he's dug his hole, he's just kind of wriggling round in the dust. Oh, he's very handsome, and he knows it. The top of the house is completely in the caves. Wow, how strange. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. This area. Pretty. Nobody has any idea whatsoever. On the south of the island somewhere. We tried to get into a couple of places and the roads were not easy to manage. So, um, yeah, we're here. Wherever here is. It's nice. Mm. Oh, yes, with his car over. And another one on the And left another side. one. So we're now back on Kestrel. Which we're really happy about. Yes. So the thing is, we, we, we came down here and um, we knew that there was a few things we needed to do. We needed to get the solar back on. So why did we take all the solar off again? Because we're having that power going into the batteries. Um, it was a bit scary. Um, we had to put the bimini on first um, because the solar panels got on above the bimini. Panels are back up, not fully connected. We will be in a minute. Yay! <laughs> Something works. The lights come on down at the bottom. Now. If you buy buying new tools and you can't even work them out. Terrible. Oh, the green light on the panel down there. And some others. Yay. That's the one thing I thought wouldn't work when we came back. I didn't like to say, because you never like to uh, assume things. So we've got electricity on the boat. We've now got, hopefully, solar. A few more attachments to stick on. So which you probably won't see very well, but the panels are back there. Fix it all up. All works. So, so far, we've connected up the batteries again. And we've got power on the boat, which is brilliant. Um, connected up the solar panel to the controller, which is down there. And as you can see, the lights are on, which is just fabulous. And we have got a bit of sunshine now, so that all works nicely. The inverter works, which is in the cupboard. The gas works, because we've got some homemade soup that I made yesterday. Um, just vegetable soup with a chicken stock. And we're going to have some soup and some fresh bread for lunch. 
So Kevin's up there putting on a few more bolts and trying to look intelligent and important, aren't you? <laughs> um, but we're getting there, we're getting a few jobs done. We knew we had to have a look at the boiler because the boiler was tripping out the electric, the shore power. As soon as we came into the Asus Marina, um, that's when we found out that was the problem. So it was fine while we were at sea and the engine was keeping the boiler hot. hot. It was until we plugged it into shore power that we realised it was a problem. So yeah, we've come and taken that apart. So we took the boiler apart. Well, what are you doing now? <coughs> the boiler's shorting out. So, um, the only, well, we've unplugged the boiler and it doesn't short out now. So it's obviously the um, element that's the problem. So I'm going to take the element out and have a look and see what's... Uh, so what's happening with it? So we borrowed some clamps from the guys in the marina just because ours we didn't have a box spanner so we managed to get hold of one of these from the guys which is very helpful. Oh, that's um, a bit more than that. Well normally everything's coated in lime scale in Turkey and the water we get from marinas and things you never quite know what you're getting but actually that's pretty impressive. It is actually. And if that's never been out in eight years that is amazing. We've got the new element that came, well we've picked it up today, looks the same, everything fits by the look of it. Um, we didn't actually buy the thermostat in the end because we thought we'd try the element first. Um, so we're going to put that back in. So how much was the element? The element was uh, 70, you're shaking your head. No, it was 60. 60, 60 something euros. It was 56 euro and then a bit of VAT on top. So 60 euros. So it has two little metal. Yeah, two connectors. Well, hopefully. the noise. The pump. So we're filling it with water. Got water in the tap. Um, we found a, a water leak on the um, on the bilge pump because obviously we dropped some water into the bilge um, while taking out the tank. Oh no. Well it was tidying up after we got the boiler out and glanced across under here that because we've emptied the bilge of course the bilge pump's been working and I can see drips coming from somewhere so I've just checked it and the pipe that goes between the filter I've got it. Yep. and the bilge pump, the pipe's leaking on both ends. Um, somebody's tried to repair it by putting silicon around each end of the pipe. <laughs> Great, obviously that didn't work. Um, so I need to put a new pipe on there. So it's just a bit of pipe of that diameter, um, just need to get an extra piece. But you can see the silicon still around it, which is just ridiculous. How to repair things. Badly. So I thought you'd taken off the cabling, so what are you doing now? I took off the pipe, and I was just going to check the filter. Yeah. See what's in it. Not oh, very nice. <laughs> I don't really want to know what that is. Hmm. I think it's just Bits general out of the bilge. crap that comes out of the bilge, yeah. Hmm. You do mechanical work. <laughs> More like plastic. <laughs> this yeah, all, all this these, is a blue job. <laughs> all these are broken. Um, the plastic clips that hold the tags in place. And it's just looking a bit of a mess, so we thought we'll replace them. But when we went into the shop, they couldn't find any. It's the actual sun that does it, I think. And, uh, they go very brittle, don't they? They do. So they be, these have been washed, have they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you sure they've not shrunk? <laughs> I believe well hope not. Well, I've just got the other one in. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> It's, I'm not, gonna, it's not nice and clean, don't they? I'm going to film you doing this one on your own. <laughs> hey, I'd kill. Just break every nail on the way. Yeah, but not nail varnish. It's lasted for three weeks. Okay, four days. What? 
<laughs> I wonder what you fight with this one now. Are they singles? Well, I have got single, but I've picked up a double under single. They're in the back cabin, and I just couldn't be bothered with knocking it away. What we'd like to say is a, a, a huge thank you to um, all the patrons that have, have, have sort of supported us in everything we've done so far. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you so grateful. much for that. We really do appreciate it. One of the cameras that um, we're using at the moment, the new Lumix, is bought by the money that you've actually um, supported us with. So, so thank it, you. That it, was bought in Gibraltar. And, was, yeah. Um, yeah, good camera. Yeah, it's a great camera. Um, so we've now got extra equipment. We did think that one of them was getting faulty, um, but it turned out it's okay. But we needed another camera, and we've used the Patreon money for that. So thank, thank you, you so much for that. Brilliant. And if anybody does want to support us anymore, the link is at the bottom. So please feel free. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. we'll see you soon. Okay.